Hi guys, I know I look, I probably look pretty rough, but there's a reason for this video. Um, I just want to show you some products that um, I am trying out and will be reviewing soon. Um, but yeah, so um, the first thing is going to be this Kentu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Milk Shine and Hold Mist. And it looks like this, I'm sure you've seen it. And what it says is, no mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicone, um, phthalates, I think, gluten, um, paraffin, uh, propylene glycol, PABAs, or DEA. So, uh, yeah. No, none of the bad ingredients, bad ingredients that people don't, um, usually like so for the most part um this is pretty good i've been um using this um i don't know i've used it like 10 times now and you can see how much i have left and i was trying to um uh see if this could be an alternative to my shea moisture mist um because of course this is cheaper i think i paid four dollars and some change for this let me see okay and the shea moisture one let me see if it has the ounces on here it's eight ounces both of them eight ounces but this one is a fraction of the cost um and this was filled to the rim and for some reason my shea moisture stuff is always usually like to the label i don't know if people everywhere just test it out or what but that goes for the creams any of that stuff that's just easy to uh squeeze out or um spray out they're never full so i don't know if that was you know how they come or if somebody's trying it out in the store i'm not really for sure um um yeah so that was it for that i'll give you an update on how this been but I would just use it um, for a refresher. Um, sometimes I like these better um, than water, especially the um, Shea Moisture one. It actually gives a little sheen to my hair. Um, yeah, so next thing is the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding. Set back to natural for mixed textures. Curly, wavy, kinky, cur coily, and transitioners. And um, this right here is 15 ounces. And at my Walmart, it is $3 and some change. So I thought it was worth trying nonetheless. If um, I could get, you know, if I could get, um, if this not terrible, this is definitely um, a good alternative um and it is price effective for three dollars some change for 15 ounces it's definitely worth a try so this is how much i've used so far and uh it's kind of like a light um orangey color but i'll show you what it looks like Looks like that is very creamy, but of course you can tell that it's very light and water-based. Show you how quick it absorbs. So, um, it feels like a, a, a very good um, moisturizing lotion for your body. You know, like Vaseline Intensive Care or something like that. That's how it feels. So I know it's not going to be too heavy for my hair. Um, but if you can see that, you can tell it does have oils in it. So it is um, moisturizing. I haven't tried it enough to give you a review on it, but um, enough to know that um, that much that it is um it is moisturizing it, it isn't like some um drugstore items where you put it in and you can tell immediately that it's just going to go away it's not going to be moisturizing like this next item that i'm going to um tell you about but i'll give you um a couple ingredients in it um 
because it says back to natural. We all know that a lot of things that claim to be um, natural isn't natural, and you won't know until you read the ingredients. So I just uh, tell you um, the first couple ingredients: is water, um, soybean oil, um, shea butter, mango seed butter, argan oil, coconut oil, fruit oil. But anyway, I don't see anything too bad in here. Um, there are cones, but I don't see, um, let me see. Yeah, I do see cones. So, I'm, I don't have a problem with cones, but just to let you know, there are cones, but they are fairly um, low on the list. Um, so, yeah, I'm not into what's water-soluble cones and what aren't. Um, so... You know, you'll have to check into that on your own. Me, personally, um, I love cones. My hair, I've come to find out that my hair loves cones. You know, I just make sure to, you know, get it all out of my hair before I, um, you know, keep trying to add moisture with other products. So, yeah, but my hair loves cones, and I'm still trying this out. But I do like it so far as a good, um, inexpensive alternative, um, you know, just in case, hey, you never know what happened. Gas going up. You might have to change up a couple things. Um, the next thing is this Beautiful Textures Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner for Mixed Textures Curly Wavy Kinky Curly Frizzy. Um, looks like this. I'm sure you didn't all seen it before. Um, it is 12 ounces. And I want to say $6.99 at Sally's. Um... So, let's see what this say. Excuse me. Couple first ingredients. Um, water, fruit, um, olive oil, argan oil, coconut oil. Same couple of ingredients that a lot of um, cheaper brands um, normally have that I just been noticing lately a lot of the um, ones that you can buy at a wild green CVS you know um, Sally's at a lower price usually have the first couple ingredients mixed around a little bit still the first same type of ingredients um, now it's a good and bad thing to this I've been using this long enough to um, give you somewhat of a review on it um, and I probably won't uh, check back up on this just because I've used this quite a lot to know that uh, by now what I feel of it um, feel about it and Anthony and my mother um, has their own so um, I can tell you this this is the great detangler um, out of all um, different products I've used on Anthony's hair to me, this is one of the better detanglers, but the problem with this is um, you will have to layer too much um, just because this adds, um, what's the word I'm using, uh, I'm looking for, this adds moisture, it seems like it's going to add moisture, but once you put it in, it's moisturized for the moment, but um, this will not give you lasting moisture. Um, uh, to me, like, my hair is fine with this, but, um, my mother who has, like, 4B-ish hair, um, 4A, 4B, and Anthony who has 4B, 4C, um, it's like 30 minutes to an hour, the moisture is gone. So, don't try to use this and think you can get away with only this if you have thirsty hair, because it's gonna leave your hair dry later. So, um... If you use this to detangle, you would definitely have to um, double up with some other type of moisturizer with this. Um, but uh, would I repurchase it? Um, I'm really not for sure. Um, I mean, versus some of the other detanglers I have that um, d don't do as well as these and um, are more expensive, I guess I would. But um, I just hate to have to you know, add more moisture after detangling. So I have to basically use a detangler. Um, I guess I could use this as the leave-in, maybe. 
um, and then a, a moisturizer on top. But I wouldn't even trust this as a leave-in by itself. That's just me. Um, and the last thing is this Let's Jam Custard. It's a flexible hold cream gel. Looks like that. Um, it says no alcohol, no mineral oil, no petroleum. Boom. I don't have to look. I like products that list um, on the label exactly what they do not have so you don't have to you know scan the whole list because um, there are people like me who don't mind cones so you know basically the only thing that I don't want to have in my products is mineral oil and petroleum that is most important for me um, I know alcohol is dry but a few of my products do have alcohol in it um, but my main things are the mineral oil and petroleum. You know, um, I, I just don't. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's see what it has in it. Um, water, glycerin, um, polysorbate 80, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so no mineral oil, no petroleum, no protein things, which I still don't. I, I'm fine with protein. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what it looked like. It's like this light pink color. Uh, if you can see it. And it is, um, I don't know how to explain this. It's creamy. But it's like a pudding, kind of. Look at it. Very soft. I don't know. Um, I have not um, tried this yet. I'm probably going to try this on camera um, for you guys. But it smells like, if you ever tried Less Jam, it smells like the normal Less Jam scent um, that I, they all have to me. Um... I don't always put stuff in my hair. <laughs> On that little edge right there. It won't seem to stay down. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah. So, I will be coming back to you to um, do... Um, reviews on these items. Some of these I'm going to try to do... Um, a, like, um, test the video to show you how it looks in my hair. How it dries and all of that. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. And also, I'm trying out a new product that I will not reveal right now. But look at this. My hair is jet black. Um, I'm sure you all know. And it seems like once I went from being relaxed to natural, my black hair looks very dull, which is um, very new to me because uh, when my hair was relaxed and smooth, um, my hair was always very shiny. I never had a problem with shine. I never needed um, products to put extra shine in my hair. You know, my scalp was oily, so, you know, therefore was able to, you know, get all the way to the ends of my hair, therefore creating a shine. But with my natural hair, I find it really hard to do. Um, my, my scalp is less oily. Um, therefore making my hair drier and it doesn't help that my hair it has low porosity so um, a lot of products just you know I'm always trying new products just because one product never gets me quite where I want to be but um, this product that's in my hair is getting very close but the only weird thing is I don't know if you can tell but my roots are normal how my roots normally look you know they're not as you know they don't really have a sheen on it it is soft but it doesn't but look how smooth this braid is how shiny this braid is and look at my ends they're so smooth now even though my hair normally curls on the end like this I never get this smoothing effect through my whole you know hair um so, with the exception of my roots, um, this product is really giving me a good shine slash sheen and it's really got my hair silky. Um, I'll come back tomorrow um, before I leave and untwist the braids. I don't know. I never do good with braid outs. I don't know what to expect. I got my headband on standby just in case it's a hot mess. But, far as... Um, uh, my hair, the way my hair feels, 
you know, it's definitely doing it well. So that's all I care about. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video.